All right, it is a cool, cloudy, beautiful spring day, and uh, we are in Decatur, Georgia. And I am for I don't remember the last time I was here at the at the old home place. So uh, this is it. This is uh, <laughs> where yours truly. grew up I see I have an Amazon delivery truck at the uh, old home place so that is it I'm uh, I see they've let the lawn well the lawn has turned into wildflowers that's pretty cool I can I can barely see my uh, my house up there there is the can't even see my house this is where I uh, <laughs> developed my worldview, I guess. 18 years I spent in this house in the woods, and I probably planted a lot of these. I remember planting this whole garden path through the woods see the mountain laurel is blooming the flame azaleas look like they're bloomed out but i am so happy to see that they have kept kept the vision alive and lord so there it is uh, i will not turn up the driveway it does look like the people have now I did plant this tree. I planted that tree probably when I was 12 years old. That is a Japanese magnolia. I thought that beautiful tree would be in bloom. And there it is. I planted that tree probably 52 years ago. I don't know what those trees in the middle are. I remember I, I planted those hydrangea bushes probably 50 years ago. Uh, we have a we have a gate. Let me see. I have a a gate blocking the way. All right. Good to see the old neighborhood still looking the same. I guess the. Uh, the Amazon delivery guy just stops at every house. Now this is my street, Woodview Drive. Looks a lot like it did. I am very happy to see that there are no new McMansions on Woodview Drive in Decatur, Georgia. Okay. Lord, the memories, the memories, oh, Jesus, but I am very happy to see that these uh, old houses are uh, so far not being knocked down and turned into McMansions from hell. That makes me, I will not say it gives me hope, but uh, I do want to, this is me driving around my block. My mother used to, tell me to run around the block. So that was the block that I used to run around. That is pretty cool to see that uh, still looks kind of like it did when I, I pulled out of here and once and for all in 1983 came back to take care of my mama while she was dying in 1997 and 
got the fuck out of here in March of 1997. Good Lord. What is that? 27 years ago. I pulled out of here. I wanted to see if they ever pushed this road through. So, uh, this McMansion in front of me, you, you enter. What this was, was a 57 acre farm here when I was growing up uh, 57 acre farm and made me sick so I don't know when uh, Mr. Williams died the crazy lunatic Mr. Williams finally kicked the bucket and they turned that they had a opportunity to make a 57 acre green belt here in the fucking planet eaters got hold of it and turned it into a fucking you know what they turned it into i remember when they built this road i was four this was this was all part of it actually where i grew up was part of mr williams Farm, the Durand Farm, and uh, I still call this the New Road. <laughs> the New Road is 60 years old, and uh, my sister and I still refer to it as the New Road. And there it is. You know, there were a lot worse places to grow up than this than my. Uh, my sister built, so it was over an acre when I grew up, and then my sister built this house in the 1980s and sold it. But other than that, uh, I think uh, that house that my sister built in 1987 is the newest house. Uh, I, th I think it's the newest house in, in the entire neighborhood. It was about the last lot available in this entire neighborhood. I think it, you know, that, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, that was the very last vacant lot. So this was uh, my walk to high school back when uh, people actually walked. It was. 1.6 miles from my house to my high school but well, I would usually ride my bike back in the back in the olden days when people actually uh, walked and rode bikes to school never rode a school bus in my life so I'm uh, meeting my buddy at, at Emory University. So this is the, I was in Emory, an Emory baby. My daddy may his soul be forever cursed. I was a medical student at Emory. That's the creek that went through my property, Peavine Creek. Oh, good Lord. So Sancho Panza, this is where I, the other great dog of my life, Joshua, on his eighth birthday. On his eighth birthday, uh, died of heat stroke, chasing a frisbee on August 1st. Should not have been playing for it. He died down there in that hole. That was my other great dog of a lifetime. That was his final resting place. Oh, the memories. The dead dog memories. Uh, that's where my, my cousin lived. He's a vice president at CNN now. He was the, uh, my cousin Eason, 
Eason Jordan. He was the last person to, uh, the last American journalist to interview uh, Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Osama bin Laden, out of all of the journalists, invited my, uh, <laughs> my cousin. Last time Osama spoke to an American back in the good old days. And this is coming into uh, to Emory. Oh Lord, 23 years, 23 years of my life pretty much spent in a one mile radius of right here. You know, but I guess if you have to spend 23 years somewhere living in the uh, Fernbank Druid Hills Emory neighborhood of Decatur in Atlanta, Georgia, you know, Good a place as any. We still have that beautiful park. Still looks like it did. So this is the Emory University campus. I uh, I could have been an hemorrhoid myself. Two of my brothers were hemorrhoids. I could have been an hemorrhoid. But it just wasn't for me. Better put this camera down with this cop. All right, Emory University. Good Lord. The times I had here. I can find some parking in Emory University. Ah, there's that Indian kitchen. I'm let's see if I can sweet talk my buddy into going to the Indian kitchen instead of the sub shop. Alright. But here I am. I have not seen my buddy in 42 years. Let's see if we recognize each other. This might be him right here. I don't know. All right. I'm off to look at pictures of my buddy's grandchildren. Bye, guys.